Rebecca, I'm so amazed. Your peas just grow overnight. Dude, okay. Yeah, and look, look at your lettuce. Your lettuce is ready. I know. And your cucumber's doing good, about to shade it just in time. And my zucchini's looking good. It's recovered. It, it kind of struggled at first. Well, no. So what, no. what's <laughs> happened is there's another zucchini right next to it. <laughs> I think that's taking over. Are they sweet? They're good. I tried to eat the shell. I don't like it. But I do like the peas inside. I wonder if this would work. We could try a bungee. And this might work. All these probably just for trial. Oh wait, we have another one of these? Wow. Oh shoot, there's a chicken out. Will you guys go please catch that chicken? I'll start opening this up for us. The boys got the chicken up. We got, we're getting nets up. Look though, they did it. They did it. It's, it's a combination. It's June, fly larva is finally, flies are finally active, I guess through the night and stuff. Look, look how they spread this. They spread this. We cut their ration. Boom! Explosion! Thank you chickens. They've eaten the fly larva off of the cows and spread that nutrients. Spread the fertilizer. This is a cow pie. This is an old cow pie. The cows don't eat it first round. And it's super concentrated. See how much greener it is there? If it's spread out, it's going to be a bigger, greener area. But I don't see it. Well, see, the chickens haven't come out here. That's why I'm thinking we need more chickens. These chickens have, pro have passed the test. They've proven to stay in a sheep net. The sheep were just here yesterday. The cows, the day before, I think we're ready. We want to find a better way to pull this thing. We could actually walk these guys. Walk from here, you know, down past our house and into the next pasture. It's downhill. It's not always that way. And we've gotten in the habit of picking up their net. After they're done, they're still in the coop in the morning before it's hot to get some of those chores done. And we've just come back with Sally in the afternoon to pick up the nets. But what if we could pick up the nets, put them in Sally, and move the coop all at the same time? I am happy that this is working because it's like a 30 minute process to move these nets. Might as well put another species through it, right? And now, also on the land, Cows, sheep, and chickens all on one spot of land. No more land required. I had a long-term thought. What if the handles, like on the turkey shawl, came straight out and they were lower and then you had a board going across that you could mount the hitch to. You could also have the handle, but you'd also have a board. And so you could have the choice. Did that get it up enough? It would only get it up four when you're going over hills, inches. Yeah. Let's try it. Well, can we just do it the way it is? So there we have these tied on there. Maybe we could do a better way if that's going to work. But like, is it going to work? Because that makes it, what, three, four inches from the ground? Let's load the nets. We can load the water this way too. Look at the worms this is already attracting. This is just wonderful. It's kind of cleared right there. I mean, that's that's obviously the easiest. This looks kind of jerry, so I don't know if I'm completely happy with it. Hey, you saving our giant pumpkin in our Trying. Our Look. instant chicken garden. So you I got came, some bugs. Well, I came over here and I was like, oh, that plant looks like it's struggling. It oh like wow! It's eating. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, that'll do. Seven, it. eight, um, nine. So I got nine off wow. of this. Maybe even more. Well, first they started overturning leaves, and there's so there was probably. 30 eggs, so I just took them off and I smashed them between my legs. Alright, we got mom with us now. All worked well until we went downhill. Okay. And we're dragging. Right, this would be harder with 24 birds. This sheep's already up. I mean, this fence is already up. This is where the sheep were yesterday. So see how it's working together? These guys, well, I'm surprised this one's staying in. I don't think most of our ices would stay in. Those are Icelandic chickens. We need fatter hens like that. That's 
why we got some fat chicks being raised up for this very purpose. You got some fresh eggs? Yeah, because you didn't collect them last night. I know, I'm sorry. You passed out and I had to do nighttime chores and I forgot the eggs. Lily's gonna feed them. Go put it on their cow patties. Yep, yep, good job, good job. That encourages them to scratch the cow patties. All right, looks, looks like it's a fun day. Looks like I'm excited about this. We're gonna move the sea monsters over. That was super easy, pleasant even. Gideon got you some flowers. He did, he did. And we have a casualty. We'll see if the pigs won't eat that. We're not alarmed or panicked. That just happens with a hundred Cornish cross chickens. Just, they die lost. sometimes. At least it wasn't a predator. Lily, this might be a record. That's, well, I don't guess it's almost half. Oh no, you know. Yeah. This could have been filled up a little bit more to make two gallons. That's not quite a half a gallon, so it's probably two gallons strong. That's pretty good though. All right, we just had breakfast. It's Sunday seed day, guys. Happy Sunday seed day. Today, we're gonna try to make our lives a little bit easier by starting to work on a water supply line out to our, our lanes. And that way we can connect water to the sheep and we can do water to the sea monsters. First, we gotta find where this goes in. It goes in into a culvert, a little tiny culvert. Culvert's a strong word for a four inch pipe. Yeah. And then comes back out here. So we kinda need to open up both ends of that so we can get our hose out and our, our water line in. Work all day till I'm totally beat. Get back home and fall right to sleep. All right, we've dug down in. I don't think you can see it right here, but this has been pulled up and it's ripped into the the four inch pipe there. I think they did that. The excavator guys did that when they were here. So I think the pipe actually should probably starts back here somewhere. And I've since learned we should do a PVC because uh, it's more collapse proof. What'd you got? He says we got a PVC. It is, that's perfect. Wow. Let's see if it would go all the way across. Yeah, I bet it will. Did we have a longer one? Yeah. Okay. Uh oh, it's not quite long enough. I, know, I mean, we're like, we're we want it to be short. long though. I don't. Yeah, sure, but like I think we should here. really be over there. Yeah. And really way over there. Yeah, I know. Because uh, trucks are gonna come here yeah. to drop off wood and stuff. No, I would like it. I would like for it to start like at the base of this. Yeah. So I'm not sure if that's a noon 80 degree job. <laughs> I think maybe we should measure and make plans and see what else we're gonna need. How yeah, about that? I like that idea. And figuring out like how long of a pipe we need. Yeah. All right, measuring tape in hand. First measurement. How, how long of a PVC pipe do we need? 18. Put it down on the ground. How are we gonna haul an 18 piece, foot piece? We can also buy smaller pieces and connect them together yeah. with yeah, it's, this is not like this is stuff. plumbing water. Yeah. We're just running things through it. So, let's start at the source and see what we got. We're at 90 feet, so I was worried that we were gonna have to make a connection right in there. We're at 90 feet right there, so. So that'd be about 100, let's say 100 feet to the gate. Okay. 500 feet to the very end of this thing. So that means four patches, four uh, shutoffs. All right, we're now in the north field. I don't think it could be any hotter. When's it gonna rain, Becky? It was supposed to rain last week and it really didn't. We had so, sprinkles here and there. Well, we're gonna, um, I don't we're know. gonna measure from- I have a feeling this summer is gonna be wacky with the weather, <laughs> so whatever. Well, we slowed down the cows because grass is slowing down. We're gonna put in a water line, that's gonna help. So we're gonna uh, go from here, all the way to the end of our pasture, back. We were already kinda almost over here when we were way down there in our other pasture. So now we're gonna work it back. We're gonna bring water to right here, and then we already have a water line for the pigs we can connect to to get on up to the pigs. But if we get right here, we're gonna make a life a lot easier. Oh yeah. All right, 784 feet, Rebecca. From, from right here to there, but we still got to go down and over to the water line. 
All right, 800, oh, 900 feet. And we're almost there. Hopefully we have some spare, well we will, we'll have some spare hose when we pull the old hose up. We're at 907 feet. How much? 907 to come off of this, over to our lane, and up our lane, and out. 907, that's our biggest one for sure. Grandma just came down the hill. She said she's got some of that PVC. You got some of that PVC? Three inch? Yep, I, we had some three inch and uh, yeah. You and got? Piece, piece of galvanized pipe. You got 18 feet? No. How many feet? Uh, eight. You got a way to connect it to this? Uh, probably not. But oh. <laughs> Almost 400 feet. Let's just say 400 feet. We'll have some extra. Jonah, we got it looking good out here. Mm -hmm. Cows and sheep, chickens just went through, mowed behind them. Nice, even, looking good. You even string trim the banks, my man. Good job. All right, it's so hot. We've done our measurements. Maybe, maybe Big Daddy's gonna go to the store later for some. Supplies, some wa the actual water line. Now that we know exactly what we need, that's good. I'm thinking this is Dinky Donk. This is a temporary Dinky Donk situation since we built this shed. Let's. How about let's bury a line under this, Jonah, electric line. Come up to a T post and have a nice electric gate right here. We're dealing with this every day. Every time we come into milk. That's a better idea. Yeah. Let's have a real gate like this. Right there, because we can attach it to the, the shed. Okay, that's a good idea. That's a good idea. That we should have a and then we just want to a real gate right way. here. But I don't, you know, that's not going to happen today. So no. we could do this until then. It'll, it'll be a temp fix, much better than than this. Uh, Papa, we I thought we would just run the wire straight from here all the way to here. Then we could have your Gate, really nice. Oh yeah, that's true. If you were going to do a solid gate right here, you would want to have a, you would want to have that line buried all the way. We have a gate over here and that looks pretty long. Yeah, we should measure that. Jonah has a good point. We don't want to bury that line and end right here if eventually we're going to want to go all the way across. So how big of a gate do we need right here? 14 feet, 15. Right, let's measure what this red gate is. Oh wow. 14. That's perfect. Well, this may be suicide given as hot as it is, or I can look at lights. It's a sauna. It's a sauna at Earth's gym. I'm about to trench this hole with a mattock in the sun. Probably 25-ish feet. So work, sleep, repeat. I just completed the Matic workout at the gym. Matic and sauna at the same time. Man, you guys have the idea. Why am I not doing that? I think I'll do that later. Jonah figured out how to get these, how these work. You just unscrew them and these go through our post. So let's measure. No, measure from the bottom up to, let's see. Measure the bottom up to here. No, from here to there. And then we'll add, say, four inches. So eight and a half. Yeah, eight and a half, okay. Actually, we wanna come pretty flush to the ground over here, because it's a slope. It's sloping that way, so. Yeah, maybe just come off this bottom, where the bottom of the metal is. So eight and a half is about where we're gonna put our, the middle of our next pole, or, or a hole. Okay, how can we mark that? Here. I managed to mark it a bit with my pen. I'm wondering, we need to have a hole, a drill, a hole saw, but we need to get to that metal first. I'm wondering if this, will this actually cut metal, Jonah? Here, hold this. Ready? Okay. Ready? Yep. Nope. Not really. Let's just get the tool that does it. What is the tool that does it? A grinder. Okay. Your phone right. might be a little big. 
All right, that thing didn't work. We're gonna try a grinder. Try a grinder. A grinder will work. Let's get bearing the electrical line. All I ever do is work, sleep, repeat. Man, I can't believe that line. Did we have any more line? Cause yeah. that was just perfect. I th actually, I thought it was out right about here, but then we made it. We made it to right here with some spare, with some slackage. Okay, you got all your safety gear on? Okay. All right, we're gonna cut. Just don't, try not to cut too much into the wood. Just cut a square right there. Okay. Okay, it's just 10. It shouldn't be hard to cut, okay? Like butter. Wow, that's cutting it easy. There wow. Oh, there's oh, a second. Oh, there's another one. Shoot. Do you don't think our hole saw will drill through metal? All right, we're gonna just have to try it. There's metal in there, about an inch and a half. More metal. There's no way we're gonna get at it with the saw. Now you got your paddle bit. Now don't. Now you want to do it straight in, straight in, straight in like this. You're gonna have to do. That's hard. Is it not no, doing it? I don't it? think it's doing it. It's almost through it. Take off the wood. You did! It's battery's too low. Oh, we're going in good. I got maybe inch. Inch and a half in there and battery ran dead. I think all his batteries are dead. So we'll just bury this line and see where we get. Now that's what I'm talking about. That's the future of our farm. Slick. Now this is just a temporary fix. I kind of like this. For, it's pretty nice for a temporary fix, isn't it? Until we get our uh, big sturdy gate on there. That's going to do it. And it's hitting hard. And it's going, it's powering that way because we have the, the chickens and it's powering the sheep and the cows out that way. One mega I love the grid energizer. Hey, you already getting a smoothie? Hey, she make one for yeah, us? Yeah. Your guys is your inside. Oh, sweet. Lily's been inside making smoothies. That's going to be a perfect treat on this hot day. Oh, look at that. Two big smoothies for us. How was your smoothie? It was delicious. Good. Thank you, Lily. That's going to hit the spot. It is. I got you a temp wire fence up that is smashing. That's just burp. She's burp on public television. Whoops. International television. All right, we're refreshed from the smoothie. Look, just I was eating some peas. That's good. Nice little snack. Get in. What you doing, bro? You need some focus. You need a vision. All right, let's move the animals. This might be the very easiest move on our farm. The, the animals are right there. They just go one spot over. There's no going down lanes. Let's do it. Sheep, 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 sheep. Even moose comes to that. All right, we got all the animals moved. You gonna do it this time? We got it upright? Feel this. It feels, it's not very warm, it's not very cold. It's not very cold? Well, it is. Holy smokes. I'll go back and get another wood. It's, it's not even gonna be below 60, honey. And it's warmer. It's like 68, 67. It's Hang on. Yes. How's it better, Becky Day? How is it? Is it better today? What did you put in it? 55. What? <laughs> Let's double check it. She's, she's panicked. Oh my. It's still overflow. Oh. Yeah, so, okay, okay. No, so at 51. You're at 51, solid. 50. Oh my. Right. Okay, a 
We're just about to eat, and she's ordered it. Irrigation King. We got our connections. How long that gonna be? It was pretty Hopefully fast. Week. Oh, it was like two days last time I was. Okay. Well, we'll get working on this connection. That's to connect our water lines. I'm excited. This is gonna be a huge game changer. Changer. You want chicken? I can't wait to do this. What do we got? Um, chicken and squash. Okay. You, I, I say you like green beans, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a sign of a hard-working farmer girl right there. Red sunburn. I didn't work hard enough for my sunscreen. I found it. <laughs> now, Good. Because I was about to order some for next more, week. I couldn't find it yep. where I thought it was, but it was yes. somewhere else. Good. And I had you look. Yeah. And I had her, her order me some long sleeve. No, I should. Patagonia's. Order me a long sleeve. Yeah. 